All right, so today I'm gonna to try to put an attack adapter for the uh, four time swap for the 411 PCM that goes into these F bodies. So I'm working on a 97 Camaro. There's not a whole lot of information where people are putting these tack adapters on it. We just know that in HP tuners, there isn't the right setting to get an accurate tack reading on it. So we got it requires a tack adapter. I'm gonna to try to put one in here on the passenger side kick panel. Uh, there's a wire that comes in that has a tachometer output that goes to the gauges and there's also a 12 volt ignition source in there so i'm hoping we can find a good ground under there and make a good clean install so it's not under the hood uh, they're probably not as weather resistant as what's supposed to be under there so washing the engine bay cleaning stuff up uh, you wouldn't really want to get it wet not that you want to get all the electronics wet but we do like to keep our cars somewhat clean here so let's see what we can do and uh first thing i'm going to do I'll turn this camera around we're going to remove this actual kick panel molding come down in it there's some screws that go along the side of it and it should snap off so we'll get that taken off in just a second so we have four screws that comes out of this kick panel it does go up here on the door to about right there should be able to just pull that out of there set it in the back looking for the connectors that come in from the engine harness so we'll kind of get this back here there we go. So we're looking for these right here. So now we just need to figure out which one we have. We know the tack wires are usually a white wire. Pink wires are usually 12 volt ignitions. So we have white wire here, pink one that should be 12 volt ignition. We'll check the schematic real quick, make sure this is what we need. So as soon as you get this blue plug unhooked, if you look in here close, these actually have lettered cavities, and letter D is your tack signal. Now for the tack adapter, we need a 12 volt ignition source, preferably fusible. fusible. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna splice into this tack wire, and then we went to this fuse number 10 to PCM power, some will hate on me for this, but um, we're gonna scotch lock it, mainly it's easily removable. Uh, I don't do any cutting on this car. If it works or if it gives us any havoc, we'll just go ahead and solder it in. But uh, this way we don't want to cut any of the main harness. I like to do everything on the body side of it as we're splicing in here. So that way when we ever do want to take the engine out and leave the harness in the engine bay, we can still unplug everything, not have to cut any wires or any of this stuff loose and pull the harness through the firewall. So I always pick the body side, this side here that goes into the rocker panel and hook into it. So we'll go ahead and splice into these and we'll continue working on it. One of the things I didn't mention is with this white wire going to the tack is since we are converting the signal, we have to interrupt it. So I did say I was trying not to cut or splice in the last one, but we can splice into our power. We do have to cut this one to interrupt the signal. So I'm gonna try to cut it up to get cut up high, try to get a little bit more room with it and uh, that way we can at least have room to move the uh, adapter box and tuck it away nicely. So to go back on our previous steps, extended the wire that goes to the instrument cluster. This is the wire that goes to the engine bay for the tachometer output. Then this is our power wire that we spliced onto the pink wire of our white connector, which is a Fuse 10 PCM fuse. Now we have three wires that we're gonna need. I'm gonna come in here on the adapter itself, we're going to need our 12 volt ignition, our tack output, our, excuse me, not tack output 12. This is the one we're going to use for the factory tack. So the tack output, and then we need our single input. So this one right here is going to come in from the engine harness, so our short wire. This one right here is going to go to our long wire that goes to the dash. Then the 12 volt ignition is going to be our red wire that we have to do our pink wire lastly we need a ground now what i like about doing things under the dash is there's always things to ground to so in this case we have the dash harness ground up here that we can actually get something right up there under the kick panel so that's our next wire we're going to run okay so we've got our ground ran put the spade terminal on it so now all we have left to do is hook it up to our box and flip the correct tabs. All right, so now I've hooked up all my wires here. If you look inside here, I'm trying to focus, you can see the numbers here on the switch. I flipped 
tab number seven, it pulls up. And the reason why I did number seven is my tack is about 50% off. So if we come up here and we're looking at four stroke, look at pulse, we got a one to two ratio. So ends one, outs two, so it should double my tag or my tack. And it's saying, it's saying all the other switches are off all the way across. So if this works, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tidy up all my wires, zip tie them up, tuck them in nicely behind here. Then I'll be able to zip tie it. We'll never know that it has it. So let's give this thing a shot, see if it works out. Some people have said that this adapter has been a little bit glitchy. Um, there are some filters you can put on it. I have no experience with it. So hopefully it works out well. The reason why I wanted to put it on the inside is in the instructions that it sends, it does say that it can pick up a lot of inter interference noises from the engine bay. Uh, so that's why I wanted to put it inside. Looks like it's working. Sounds pretty good. Now, obviously, we haven't driven it yet, so we don't really know the longevity of it or anything like that. But that's basically how to hook it up, get your tack looking accurate again. And uh, I guess the real test will be the test of time to see how long it works. So if you have any questions, go ahead and post below. Uh, or you can go ahead. I'm going to share this on the, the 4 Times Facebook group. Feel free to message me on there if you have any other questions.